Good afternoon everybody. Welcome to Home Gardening Florida. Today we are um, going to be replacing the Brussels sprouts and we're going to put pepper. So I asked Sonia what she thought of uh, the Brussels sprouts and uh, if they did good or not. So um, she has some uh, information that I think will be helpful. Uh, and based on our judgments of the plant, um, she doesn't feel that we uh, that the plants did good. And I'm going to turn the time over to her so that she could give us more information um, on the plants. Good morning. So we have the Brussels sprouts here. It's February 25th. Um, I'm going to have to take them out because we've got to plant peppers. Um, but. We planted these mid-October from the nursery. We bought them at Home Depot. Um, it was six pack of Brussels sprouts. Um, and at that time we had brand new dirt delivered with mixed with compost. We just put them in the ground. Um, they seemed to grow quickly in the fall and then they had really just slowed way, way, way down in December and um, uh, I had been looking online and watching some videos so some of them I took the leaves off of the stock as they started to grow but the other ones didn't really grow up um, come to find out they're you know all these brassicas these cold weather brassicas they're kind of heavy feeders um, I didn't fertilize these in addition to whatever uh, compost was in the soil so I attribute the limited um, growth due to uh, lack of fertilizer I think that there this one and maybe this one didn't they barely grew up at all but if you look down the road maybe that fourth one and that one on the end by that broccoli that's leaning over um, they grew up some you know they're maybe a foot tall there's gonna be some Brussels there but we're, we gotta take these out. It's time to go. We got other stuff coming in here. So, I gotta. Oh, where are we at here? Clip this at the bottom here. So, there are some Brussels here, but they're pretty small. I'm not sure if that was a Brussel or what. You can see there's a small one there that my finger's on. We got Brussels there. You can see them. They're See, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if that was supposed to be a Brussels because it's higher up or if it was a, if the plant split at the top. I'm, I'm not quite sure what happened. Okay. I'm going to come over this one. Gosh. See, there's some Brussels on there. Small. Probably should have, like I said, more fertilizer. So this was my first time growing Brussels sprouts, so, you know, this one actually looks pretty good. This is one that I had taken some leaves off of because it had grown up in height. Gosh. <laughs> Gotta get this clipped. Need some help? Ah, uh, it's tough. A few Brussels there. Yes. Yep. So that one, that was actually one of my taller plants. So just imagine next year when I actually fertilize them. Yes. <laughs> and um, give them a more appropriate uh, feeding. Where's the bottom here? There it is. Now I have a question. Why are you cutting it and not digging the root out? Oh, I'm going to come back later and, and plant peppers. I'm going to take out what I need and what I, whatever I don't need can stay in the ground. Um, it's going to decompose anyway. If I need to pull it out the roots, I can. But right now, I'm just trying to get these heads okay. harvested. Got it. Now, this is the biggest one. Yeah, look at the bottom there. It's kind of got pretty loose here. Yes, wow. <sighs> 
Now, I do have a question. Mm -hmm. Not just for you, but also for the viewers, if they have more experience with the sprouts. Do we have to cut or trim this ones as the plant grows? Because I see that there's, uh, there's been division. Yeah, there's, I don't think you have to. And there's a section that grows and then more leaves and then another growth. So I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you have to, but, um, you know, it just, it's more work if you come trim the leaves up, but Osmond had a question about if you can harvest them as the plant grows. Um, I think largely industry-wide, you don't do that. And then to take them off, you just twist them off, and that's a little Brussels sprout right there. Okay. And you want them to be nice and tight, so these are these are nice and tight. They're kind of small, but that's okay. Like I said, it's my first first round of Brussels sprouts. We're gonna have a small harvest of Brussels sprouts. We'll probably eat these for dinner. Perfect. We're gonna take all these cabbages out. Um, she actually came to this one. And she, oh no, this one. Pulled it out already. So it's got a, a good round shape. It's not that big. I would say it's maybe softball size. So it's time to pick them and get them out and see what we see what we did here as far as cabbages. Okay. So we're gonna take them all out. Yep. Okay. And what are we gonna put in its place? Um, potato. I'm gonna put potatoes in this bed. Okay. And I'm planning to do two rows, kind of side by side down here. So. So we're gonna go ahead and collect them all, and then we're gonna check them, clean them up, make sure that they're all good, and. Yeah. And um, then we'll we were see. We're just talking about insect damage on the Brussels sprouts. Uh, same applies for the cabbages. We're gonna, you know more fertilizer next time and maybe some more um, insect control okay all right so we're gonna go ahead and harvest these things and yep. uh, get the uh, soil ready for the potatoes all right <laughs> Okay, so we went through and we sorted through all the Brussels sprouts. We've got a small bowl here of Brussels sprouts. This was one of the very top of one of the plants. Uh, I just peeled all the leaves off. I think that is technically also a Brussel or part of the Brussel plant. Either way, it looks like a Brussel. It looks Brussel-ish. These are all the little cabbages that we got. Some of them were more uh cone shaped some were rounder but they're pretty small and some of them had some significant uh insect damage but this was the biggest one that we got this one here so we're gonna make some coleslaw or something um wash this up really good um there was a little small one not all of them made big cabbages so lesson to the uh, gardener is more fertilizer. Okay. And? And uh, we're going to have to get some insect row cover because these had a lot of insect damage on them. So just try to keep them free. And the same thing here. Yeah, the Brussels sprouts also had a lot of insect damage. There was a lot of other sprouts that looked good, but for insect damage they were damaged pretty heavily some of them so um, anyway uh, cleared out the entire cabbage row that's gonna be for potatoes this uh, Brussels sprout row I'm gonna put some peppers in there we're gonna leave these uh, broccoli flowers a little bit longer for the bees they're enjoying them and I feel a little conflicted about cutting them down but we're gonna wait until the last minute so 
Okay. Anyway, now, um, I have a question. Would you say that this was not a success as much as that one? That's a more of a questionable. Are you happy with the results of this experiment and then the cabbage? Am I happy? Yes. Uh, I'm happy I got something. Okay. But then again, this is the first, as, as this said, is the first time. These cabbages, I started from seed okay. in, in October. So we didn't plant these in the ground until middle of November or later. I can't remember when we actually planted these in the ground. But these were started from seed. So for the $2 and whatever cent I spent on the seed packet and however much I spent on the starting mix, this turned out pretty decent. I bought these from the nursery center, so, you know, that was not a good return on investment. But uh, it was the first time I grew Brussels sprouts. is also the first time I grew um, cabbage from seed or at all. First time I've done cabbage, so um, we're going to have um, a different year next year. Will you please let us know in your comments uh, what works for you and the things that you've done. That's what we have for you guys. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you guys on our next video.